Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 45, and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. We are on the home stretch. We finished up the pyramid, we got the fifth mystic statue, and we're getting ready to go to Tower of Babel. That is our last step before the two-part boss fight at the very bitter end of the game. We also will be getting our last gem so we can see that secret place at Gem the Jeweler's Place. That sounds like it could be awesome or it could be horrible. I guess we'll find out. All right. So, with all that said and done, let's uh, unpause and see what Cousin Neil has to say. Since he has a uh, conveniently flying plot device, I mean, new plane, to take us to the tower. Really? Do you have to go? Once you make up your mind to do something, nothing can stop you. Okay. I'll take Will to the Tower of Babel, then take Kara and Eric to South Cape. This time, the airplane won't crash. Sure. I feel like we need the Indiana Jones music instead. And the little uh, lines going across the map. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll be there soon, Will. Say hello to your father. Fa my dead father? Say hello to my dead father. Thank you for that. I love you, cuz. Oh, no, I'm actually gonna... Not sarcastically thank him. Thanks. I know you'll make a great president. Ah, I guess I won't see you for a long time. When you've finished your business, hurry back to South Cape. Thank you. I'm glad we all made the trip together. On this trip, everyone found something. Lance met Lily and found his lost father. Neil decided to take over his parents' company. Kara started to really live and saw a world outside the castle. And I found the value of being a, an exposit... <laughs> Sorry, never mind. I, I'm going to excuse myself. Finally, I can go to the bathroom by myself at night. Ha ha ha, just like Eric. Kara hasn't said anything for a while. I won't see Will for a long time. I'll say goodbye to him. Hmm, right. We've reached the Tower of Babel. Okay, Will, is your parachute ready? Let's go! <laughs> I jumped out over the Tower of Babel. I hadn't been there in a year and a half. Huh, there's a second parachute. Wonder who that could be. Hmm... Hmm. The Tower of Babel was deathly quiet. Time stood still. Do -do -do. Huh. That looks familiar. The flute I had was discovered here. In this box, where I found a red jewel. How convenient. You raise the red jewel. Red jewels fly the jeweler gems in a single ray of light. Weird that I would find these Frieden statues. Hmm. Let's uh, make our way very carefully past the blades. Um, who got the disco lights? Oh look, a plot convenience fell off the flute. I mean, something seemed to fall from the flute. It's King Edward's crystal ring. It's been stuck to my flute this whole time. <gasps> uh, actually, that is kind of a little like, come on guys. Seriously, is that really the only way you could give us the ring? Really? Really? 
I thought it was a decoration, but it had been hidden there. Wait, you thought... A jeweled ring was a decoration on your flute? The same flute that you've been beating people with like a bludgeoning weapon? Side note, Arcadius, next time I play a bard, he's going to use a war flute as a weapon. It's going to be made out of heavy iron. <laughs> so I could bludgeon people to death and then play a merry little tune. It'll be delightfully chaotic. <laughs> dun, da, 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 da. You have the crystal ring. I guess I should, like, put the crystal ring on, shouldn't I? Crystal ring hidden in flute. Although, okay, I need to pause right here. For those of you that don't know, my day job is working at a musical instrument repair shop. And I must say, I almost wouldn't be surprised to find a ring lodged in a flute. I have seen some things. I've seen some things. Uh, like the iPhone that we had to fish out of a sousaphone. Um, like the dead animal that floated out of a sousaphone. Um, like the... Never mind. I'm not going to keep going. <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't do that to you. Uh, just... If... A ring was stuck in his flute. He wouldn't be playing it all this time. All right. Hey, look, we can go through the door now. How convenient. All right. Uh, let me make sure. Where am I at? On this floor. Okay. There's people to. Oh, Kara. Who would have thought that you were the second parachute to fall? Given that you never said goodbye. I'm sorry. I just feel that if we part now, we'll never meet again. But Kara, why have you come here? You can't come here unless you have the crystal ring. Could that be the ring? Didn't you find it in the Incan gold ship? This crystal ring is dark blue. The ring you have is light blue. A light one and a dark one. I understand. No matter what happens, don't leave me. Aw. Did we just have a moment? Hey, um, not quite, like, so hot on my heels. Like, a little space. The light released from the comet has a profound effect on the growth of living things. When the star nears the Earth's orbit, all living things experience a dramatic evolution. Hey, talk to me. Are you not going to talk? I thought all you guys talked. Oh, there we go. From insects to fish, from reptiles to mammals, then humans were born. And so human beings have evolved. From ancient time, comets have been called the spirits of the stars, but also the demon of stars. The one now nearing the earth is a demon of stars. The comet is the highest form of consciousness. Sure, okay. The earth will evolve beyond imagination. Hmm. No, that's it? Okay, that's it. Um, all right, on this floor again, speak with the spirits. The passage of time is different inside the Tower of Babel. Time races by. You're not normal human beings because you can live here. Wait, what? In that room are demons evolved by the light. You must put them to sleep before you go up. 
Is that a euphemism? Like, should I adopt a New York accent? You gotta put them to sleep. Put them to sleep. I think I need to use that euphemism in a D&D &D match somewhere in the future. Alright, um... Oh wait, are we doing... Okay. Dark spaces to the right. Alright, so let's do this first. Alright, let's record what's happened so far. Let's, uh... Tools, save state. Just so we get a bag up. Um. Okay. Enter the distinctive door. Okay, save, heal. Okay, all right, all right. Just double checking, because I, I know that we've got our 50th gem and I want to make sure that we uh, take care of that too. It would really stink to miss our opportunity to actually show you what the 50th gem gets you, because I wasn't paying attention. <gasps> it's cast off again. Hello, demon sir, you look familiar. Almost like the first boss I fought. Except this time I get to be Shadow. And I have this really nice ability. This is, this is not going well. <laughs> this is not going well at all. Um, nah, I'll save the herbs. Wait, no. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, he got me. Doggone it. Uh, I had so much trouble with him that last time, too. Um, all right. So here's the question. Do I keep burning through my literal nine lives? Or do I just do the uh, save state, restore state? I'm tempted to do the restore state just because that's I'm starting half-life into the hole and clearly if I'm doing this it didn't go well the first time so let's go tools loot state and uh, let's try this one again I know they keep trying to tell me that this game is or this level is simple This guy was just not that simple to me. I struggled with him the last time, and uh, looks like we're going to struggle with him again. Alright, so we're waiting for his eyes to open up. Nope. Oh. Alright. So far, so good. And then we can hide here in the corner. 
Wait for the eyes to light up. Nope, I forgot to dodge that. Oh yeah, this is so not going well. Let's uh... Yeah, let's do it. So far, so good. Bouncy, bouncy. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I just missed my opportunity. Oh, I hate this guy. I still hate this guy. Ah, tank him. There we go. Done. Boom. I hate that I burned a, uh, whatchamacallit, an herb. <laughs> burned an herb. Okay. Let's heal up. Let's record. Continue. And tools, save state. Save our new place. So far, so good. And let's see. Um, cast off, got him. Door to the far east. Oh, I, uh, Probably need to re-equip my ring. Oh, never mind. Our door appears to be open. Then uh, let me go ahead and re-equip that. Hello, Frieden. We got another fancy door. All right. This is the second boss, Viper, uh, who should be pretty easy this go round, because he wasn't that hard the first time. And this dude hits harder. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, that went a lot easier this time. Between strength boost, attack boost, defense boosts. I, I probably should check Shadow's stats the next time we're there. That, <laughs> that went a lot easier. Alright, I just need a dark space to heal up. Please. Please, poor whore. Going up. <laughs> Alright. And I could really use a dark space right now. Do do it do I need to go all the way back down to heal? I think I need to go all the way back down to heal. Um yeah, you know what? Oh, what, once you go up, you can't come back down? Well, that stinks. Well, I mean, I guess I did. That is why I did the save state where I did. Let's, you know what? Let's save this one in the second, just in case I made a mistake. Let's load state the first one. Oh, I did make a mistake. I did make a mistake. All right. That's why That's why I did that. Uh All right. So, 
Before I jump into the battle, this is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along. Hope you're having fun. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. And if you're uh, watching on YouTube, then uh, tomorrow the next episode will be out. But um, no matter what, there's a few different ways you can help the channel out. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch. That way you'll be notified when I go live. I do. I stream almost every Tuesday, Thursday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I play Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server on Tuesdays. And Thursdays I do Games Revisited. And I may start doing the odd extra stream here and there on the weekend. If you follow along, you'll always know. Also, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already. That way you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives, and various other bits get posted. You've heard all this before, so I won't uh, go too far into saying anything other than uh, hit the bell if you want to get notified when new stuff goes live. Give it a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave any uh, comments, quips, quotes, quandaries, queries, complaints, and other whatnot. I do actually read those. And uh, if you can... Consider supporting the show uh, a little more directly. I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So if you're enjoying the content, if you're getting value out of it, then uh, consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjr.com. That'll forward you to my Streamlabs page where you can tip, donate, however you want to think about it. And um, there, there's no preset amount. I leave that completely up to you because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So uh, whatever, whatever whatever you think is worth, even if it's just enough for a fresh cup of coffee. Uh, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So live, folks, give me a minute to uh, get the next episode queued up and ready to go. And YouTube, folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>